hello guys and welcome to a new video today we are going to be doing a review on this prison tablet now this is not my prison tablet um i actually didn't have um a tablet. i was in a corrections facility there is a difference um and if you want me to describe that difference i can do that on another vi video but this is the jp5s um powered by jpay um, I'm going to be discussing a little bit about it, but first we're going to look at its software. Um, this uses a rock processor, which makes sense because it is a rock. Um, this thing doesn't really have a good processor. It is Android 4.4 base, so that is um, Android Cat, I believe. And um, it does not charge through its USB. It only charges through... One of these. Now, this technically isn't the right size cable. It's a PSP cable, but it works. So, and it'd probably help if I plugged it into the right port. So, plug it in. We get a. Um, first, you could tell there's a blue light on the back, which I don't think that this charger is plugged into the other side. So, it's not going to show that yet. Hmm. There we go. Um, there's a little light back here, so you can see we have two lights. I'm assuming that's so if a prison is getting, uh, like, going to take this from the um, person. Sorry, my camera decided it was going to go upside down. That um, they can easily do such. But anyway, for, let's power it on. By holding down this power button, it does need to be plugged in. This one's battery is bad, which I will show you all in a second. JPay stay connected. Sometimes it takes a, a couple seconds for it to start up. It is not a very fast tablet. So, um, as you can see, um, it says your password is the same as your kiosk password. It says it was last synced in 2020. Um, sorry, I had to um, pause the camera during that, uh, but that is a password that I don't know if it will ever get used again. So I want to respect the previous owner of this. So um, we have a lot of basic apps on here, but um, not like apps that like you'd be able to alternatively get like maybe Fortnite or something like that. It has one Wi-Fi connection, which even though it says it's connected, it's actually not. Um, if I go here, settings. These are its only options when you click on Wi-Fi. So you can't do really anything. Developer options are not an option here. Um, they have different ways of managing the apps. You can't uh, change. Um, uh, you can't change it to swipe screen or change your password for that matter. Um, yeah, it's 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 a pretty uh, weird tablet. Um, it's touch screen didn't work. I don't know if you could tell, but that is not my camera that is causing that. Um, all this wh uh, these white spots that is part of the screen. Um, I fixed the touch screen though. Um, yeah, if I go to about tablet, tap build number, that's all I'm getting. And it still thinks it's March 22nd, 2021, because I haven't been able to connect it to any Wi Fi. If any of you guys know how to hack past one of these things or get, uh, uh, get into it, because recovery mode only gives one option, and that's reboot now. Please let me know. Its battery, of course, is bad, so it'll stay on for a little bit after I plug it in, but sometimes it'll just randomly turn on. So, anyway, I want to show you guys some of like, the stuff. Um, because, personally, this is why I am totally against JPay um, and other uh, companies because they are just profiting the hell out of um, inmates. I'm sorry, my camera keeps non-focusing. It says, welcome to JPay story. It'll be just a moment. It says, unable to load it. It just pretty much has 
um, some stuff. So we have like basketball, sports, all these apps cost money. There is no app on here that is free. Um, it's, yeah, it's it, it's a pretty interesting thing. And it's the exact same thing with the music. Um, if I it tap movies, um, you're paying about eight bucks a movie even, and these aren't really even good. Um, I mean, some of these are like, uh, um, Creed, Pirates of the Caribbean, Captain America, but then again, we're still looking at today's date and you're still wanting to pay six, seven dollars for it. It's not the worst it could be, but to me, um, I think that uh, they could have made it so the prices are at least more like what Amazon would offer you if you were to buy it from there. Then again, I understand the people who own these things are in jail. So, it makes sense. So, we're going to um, go back to the home. This does not have built-in speakers. Um, you can download music. Um, but not from a computer. That's another thing I'm going to get into. So, but as you can see, it could start playing. But it's not, it's not going to play through any speakers. Unless if you plug it into the headphone port that's right here on the side. Um, we're going to go home. We're going to close out all these apps. So that's pretty much it for the software portion. It costs money to do pretty much anything on here. Download apps, download music, um, uh, or even send emails. Um, that is, that's another thing that costs a lot of money. We have basic management applications. That's not a management. That's a card game. So that's my bad, uh, app manager. That's how you can uninstall apps on here. Um, so, yeah, um, this is a modified Android kernel, and that's how they managed to do it. Let's um, turn it off and get to the other stuff. Turns off just like a normal Android device, but I'm going to pause it while I'm doing all this. So I told it to turn off, and then I unplugged it. So I'm trying to see what it's trying to do right now. Yeah, it's trying to start right back up. Okay, that's weird. Um, let's forget about that. We're going to look into the uh, back of this. I already have removed the back cover, as you can see. Um, so here's the battery. I don't know if you could tell, but um, there there's a bit of swelling in it. So um, that is why the battery needs to be replaced. Um, so the primary thing that pisses me off about this tablet is it's a very modular tablet. So we have a battery. We use a screwdriver, um, which I do have right here. Um, we can very easily undo these plugs. Sorry, I keep on hitting the uh, pod that's holding my camera up. Let's see. I think yesterday when I put this together, I accidentally lost a screw. It's not really a big deal. Um, so there's actually three screws here. Um, one of them I already had removed, um, but they hold in the main board. Um, aside from that, you pot the main board and there we go. That's another like module like part. Previous person who had it spilled like corn syrup on it. Um, I've been trying to clean that off, but I need to get my alcohol, uh, and Q-tips to finish that up. And then we have screws around here. Um, around this base here that hold the screen in and the screen is just another part so it comes apart very very easily um, especially for being a prison tablet of course you do need a very small uh, Torx bit screwdriver if you're gonna um, unscrew these which um, I can't get that thing to focus on the um, on the screw itself it's probably just my camera um, or it's my light yeah, okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's a Torx bit, and it's a very small one. Um, 
I have an iFixit toolkit, and that is how I managed to get this thing open. I could have also did it with some of my other phone repair stuff, but um, the iFixit it had the smallest Torx bit that I knew of. Um, so, yeah, I, I have that. So, um, so, here are a couple problems with this tablet. First of all, there is very lack of support. So for being such a module, ta a modular tablet where you can literally, uh, supposedly, if these parts were available, you just, uh, hey, one part went out, I'm just going to buy this part, kind of like a Raspberry Pi setup. Buy this part, got it replaced. Simple as that. Um, and supposedly be the same way in the battery. Otherwise, I actually am buying uh, just a normal tablet battery that's the same uh, uh, wattage ratings as this um, since this battery does definitely need replacing um, knowing that it is bulged a bit um, that's my plan to fix this um, and then I'm going to have to cut off this connector and I'm going to have to solder it onto the new battery um, that's what I have to do um, the other thing is, is drivers so ideally I'd be able to use my computer and I'd be able to upload music onto it um or any of that kind of stuff, but it appears as JP5 inmate media device. And uh, Windows can't find a driver. Snappy drivers can't find anything. I managed to get the, the JP downloads page, but if I click on the JP5 software, um, it doesn't give me any options past that. So um, the lack of ability to do that is crazy. I mean, alternatively, the other part of this is um, it has extra slots. So, like, um, we have RAM slots right here that I guess I, if I were to buy more RAM modules, I could probably use some flux and a heat gun and put on new RAM chips. And same with the memory. We have another memory chip here. Um, so, you could go above the 32 gigabytes that it has built in. But since they don't sell any of that stuff, they kind of make it very hard for – use to work with that looks like we have yeah flash 32 gigabytes if my camera will focus on it my camera really doesn't like focusing on things there we go flash 32 we have serial number and then um, this is a version 4.3 and if you go and you look up here it says designed by jpay so supposedly if we were to have the stuff and have the parts available um or maybe even another one of these tablets you'd be able to turn this thing into a legitimately good working tablet i believe this is a dull core processor um and it doesn't run very fast i mean after all it really doesn't because they've removed 90 percent of the android components from the system but that's uh, uh, that's the JPay tablet for you guys. So if you guys have a friend or something that's in jail and you want to buy one of these, understand that uh, it's going to become completely useless when they get out, unless if they're willing to send it to JPay, which they claim that they will unlock it if you send.